Hey guys, now that some time has passed, I can tell the story of Tularean Community College's best friend. His name was the Manosaurus. And they were close, really close. Whenever one did a promotion, the other one would do the same promotion, like Pika Trade. And it used to be that you couldn't talk bad about him. There was nothing bad you could say because then they would attack you and they would say, oh, you're attacking him because of his weight. You're attacking him because he's overweight. Um, no, but the overweight part is going to become a, a very important later. So essentially, back in the day, he was just a overweight Tulare Community College. And he never had a job. He never paid any taxes. And he was really proud of his lifestyle. And I remember one time he proposed to a young lady in Florida, had her move from Florida to uh, wherever he is. I think he's in upstate New York and essentially just held her hostage in the basement. You guys think this is crazy, but this actually happened. Uh, I think she got a job at a casino or something and then eventually you would see her in the streams. And uh, I mean, it was bonkers, right? Like who would want, I mean, I wouldn't want my worst enemy to live that type of life where I'm living at home. I graduated college. Uh, the reason that he said that he could not get a job was he had IBS in irritable bowel syndrome, right? Where you had to use the bathroom all the time. And, and at that time, hey, we didn't really have remote work, right? But now we have remote work. So technically you can find a job given that symptom easier now than ever before, because you could just ask your boss, hey, can I work from home? And your boss probably be like, yeah, everyone else is working from home, why not? So what was the relationship? And here, let me tell you what the relationship was because I have an inside track on it. We all used to be um, relatively good friends. And we had a Facebook, private Facebook group for the content creators and we would talk about things that we don't want out publicly. And of course, you know, me being me, <laughs> you know, I would be like, hey, if you guys don't fix this problem in the monthly magic box, I'm gonna make public what you guys said. And of course, then they didn't fix the problem, had to make public, and then they had to, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, they were best friends. Uh, they did everything together. They called each other. They played video games together. Uh, they also had a best friend, Dariums, and Dariums was really upset. There's that really crazy phone call. Um, that phone call was crazy. It was about MTG headquarters, who no longer does magic. It was the mana source. So it was like three of the four biggest magic channels, the, um, and Brian, the Tolaren Community College, which mentioned. So all four of these channels either were on the phone call, or Dirt Darium and the Mana Source, or were mentioned, you know, as being part of the, the discussion. And that's crazy. At the time, the four largest magic channels were being either discussed or the people were actually on that call. And it was not a fun call. It was a very nasty phone call. I feel that there is a level of redemption and at least in my case that like now I can talk openly about it without getting harassment from the fans of the mana source. Uh, people would always say, oh, you're making fun of him because of his weight and his, but, but that's not really the issue. The issue is the dude stole half a million dollars from the community with a fake injury and then left the country. Like that's the issue. Like I, I don't know why people cannot see it from his Patreon, as well from the GoFundMe that supposedly his sister set up without his knowledge, I find that unlikely. I mean, he's done GoFundMes and Kickstarters before for his multiple playmats. So why would he need his sister to set him up one? It doesn't make any sense. He knows how GoFundMe works. And most importantly, he knows that for, with a larger GoFundMe, it takes time for them to release the money. So he pretended that he was still making content as soon as the money was released, he actually legitimately left the country. <laughs> so you can't make this stuff up. And all the people telling you to donate money, like Torrell Aaron Community College, he was a big, I mean, he made multiple videos, multiple tweets about how you gotta donate money to help our community member weds out. I mean, where's the responsibility? I mean, basically you told people, hey, this is a con artist donate money so this guy can honestly buy a, a one-way ticket to the UK 
and not come back. So the, the idea like of it was the more you think about it, the more you realize, wow, this guy was just, you know, he was just conning everyone, right? With his, um, it almost like it's a buggy, buggy nine, eight, something, something where like people are just paying him for like living. Uh, a very similar scenario here, but then he wanted to do the one big con. He wanted everyone in the magic community, including Channel Five, to write checks to him. And so the money that he got in GoFundMe is just a small portion of the money he got because a lot he probably made double the money from Patreon. He made double the money from Channel Five. All I know, a TCG player was a sponsor. Every sponsor he's ever had donated him five thousand dollars or more. The dude was raking in the money. And I would say that the story around it doesn't make any sense. So there was two conventions, Star City Comic Con and the GP Vegas. He went to both. So his doctor told him, hey, you shouldn't go because your back is not great and you know you might injure yourself and you sh just shouldn't go. You shouldn't be on an airplane for that long. So the, the whole issue of like airplane and transportation and driving a car, um, he couldn't go to work because he couldn't drive a car because then he had diarrhea on the way. I mean, it was all I mean, it was all documented this way that the guy could not be in public for very long because otherwise he would you know have diarrhea. So somehow he gets on a plane and goes to Star City Con, and that turns out okay. There was no injury. There was no. Then he doubles down and he gets on a plane and he goes to Vegas. The reason that he has to go Vegas so badly was because his uh, wife from the UK was going to, that will be the first time she will see him. So the wife from the UK is not heading to his home to meet his parents or anything, that would be logical. The wife from the UK is coming to play a game of magic with him in GP Vegas. And that was the first time they've ever met physically. Um, and that was a little crazy because then he injured himself after the first dinner. Why she stayed with him, I will never know unless there was a lot of money, unless they were in on the scam together. Uh, that's what I'm thinking because there was at least half a million dollars floating around that piggy bank. And I, I, I just don't understand. Like if the first time you met someone and you had dinner with them and then they, they injured themselves and they're really supposedly a huge medical emergency life or death here what like why would you stay with them I, I don't understand is that like a sympathy that people feel like oh i need to stay with this person i would be like oh my gosh this person's so unhealthy <laughs> like I, how, how are we ever gonna make this work so anyway he took the money and he literally ran and and the reason i know he ran he stopped tweeting this is the number one indication that something wrong has happened uh, so if you look at uh the the aaron campbell when you look at the other magic people owens and so on when they stop tweeting because they love twitter right they absolutely love twitter they love canceling people they're really into this twitter thing right i don't use twitter that much but a lot of mtg celebrities man of source and so on they cannot stop themselves from tweeting. And then one day his Twitter goes cold. And I was like, oh, okay, that's it. He took the money and ran, didn't he? <laughs> and he did. He legitimately took half a million dollars that he got from the community, maybe even more if you add all his Patreon money from years, probably a mil maybe. Uh, Cause Pico Trade gave him, paid him out like a boss, right? Would be surprised to me if he got like 50k 60k from pico trade alone based on the point system and uh yeah i mean it's wild to think about this happening and it being tolerant community college's best friend and tolerant community college still hasn't spoken about the topic uh, if anyone knows where wedge is the man of source it would be him because they were best friends they i tell you they were honestly best friends that friendship i believe was real given all I saw privately and all I saw publicly, public facing. Uh, and I think some responsibility relies on Tolarian Community College because where's your buddy Wedge and where do you take the money to? And was he actually injured? He never actually produced the hospital injury reports, although he was called out bought many times by the Jeremy character that you now know was the quarterling. Uh, he never produced anything and you know, there was no receipts, there was nothing. It, all that happened was 
He shut down all his social media. Oh, he didn't shut it down. He just didn't post anymore, which again on Twitter is crazy because they love posting every day on Twitter, right? When they don't post on Twitter, you know they're like, you know it was a scam. When, when a company, like an NFT company, or uh, has stopped posting on their Twitter account with 40,000, 50,000 followers, and they post every day, like 10, 20 times a day previously, you know you've just been rug pulled. And same with the Manosaurs, right? Hi guys. <laughs>